Hey Spoops, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this Elsa makeup and wig tutorial from Frozen. This is part of my 12 Days of SFX Miss series, and if you're new and you don't know what that is, for 12 days in the month of December, I'm uploading a new Christmas-themed makeup tutorial. I have always wanted to do Anna and Elsa here on my channel, so I've just been so excited that this year I'm finally getting to do it, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you are interested in turning yourself into Elsa, then just keep watching. So to get started, I'm going to be showing you how you can style your very own Elsa wig. I'm going to be starting by brushing out this wig that I have. I ordered this from Amazon, so I will have it linked down below for you guys. And I'm going to be starting off by sectioning out the pieces that I want to use for her bangs to frame her face, pulling those to the front, and then going ahead and teasing the top part of this wig. We're then going to be going ahead and doing a simple French braid. If you don't know how to French braid, you're basically going to be taking three pieces from the top and you're going to go ahead and start to braid it like you would normally. However, every single time that you take an outside piece, you're going to go ahead and pull an outside piece from the front. So that way you're adding the hair to it as you go. So you're just going to go ahead and bring this all the way down until you have a normal braid at the very end. We're then going to be tying the hair with a little elastic hairband before going ahead and taking a piece from the top, teasing it, and then having this fall back. And then we're going to be going ahead and cutting the bangs framing the face to go ahead and make them a little bit shorter before taking some hairspray and styling them each to a point. Next, we're going to be adding some fake snow or sparkle to our wig. So I'm going to be taking this glitter hairspray and spraying this throughout the wig before going ahead and adding some fun accessories. I found these cute little snowflake hairpins on Amazon that I will also have linked down below. And you just go ahead and apply this to the wig by twisting it into place. So I'm just applying that throughout the wig to make it look nice and glittery and also kind of replicate the fake snowflakes that she does have in her hair. And just like that, you're going to go ahead and tease the wig once it is on your head a little bit more more and hairspray that into place and that is how you can style your very own Elsa wig. Next we're going to be moving on to the makeup portion of the video. I'm going to be going ahead and starting off by popping in my blue contact lenses before taking my Fenty Skin sunscreen and applying this all over my face to help moisturize it. And then I'm going to be going into my Buckle Bunny Beauty Sheer Perfection Primer and applying this all over my face as well. I'm then going to be taking my Becca Cosmetics under eye highlighter and I'm going to be applying this under my eyes to help brighten them before taking my Milani Supercharged Concealer in the color 120 Peach and applying this under my eyes to help give a little bit more warmth and help cover those dark circles. Next, we're going to be moving on to foundation where I'm going to be creating a mixture of my NYX Total Control Foundation in the color Porcelain and my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation in the color Light 55N and applying this all over my face using my IT Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush. I'm then going to be taking my Boca Bunny Beauty Cream to Powder Foundation in Mocha and using this as my cream contour, I'm going to be applying this to the areas that I want to darken or add shadow. So this is going to be under my cheekbones and my jawline before moving on to concealer where I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the color Light Peach and applying this under my eyes into my forehead before going ahead and blending this out as well. I'm then going to be setting my face with my Airspun Translucent Powder. Before moving on to contouring my face, I'm going to be taking my KVD Beauty Shade and Light Contour Palette, taking this contour color, and I'm going to be applying this to the same areas that we applied our cream to powder foundation. And this is really going to help deepen that contour and add a little bit more of some nice shadows before we go ahead and go into the highlighting color and apply this under our eyes. Next, we're going to be moving on to eyebrows. I'm going to be starting off by taking my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in black and just softly filling in my eyebrows before taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Brow Wow Pomade in Loretta and applying this to the arch of my brow. Lastly, I'm then going to be taking my Benefit Brow Setter and sweeping this through my brow hairs before moving on to blush where I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Disney Court of Miracles blush and applying this to the apples of my cheeks and blending this up my temples and across my nose. For my highlighter, I'm going to be taking my Disney ColourPop Big Tough Girl highlighter and applying this to my cheekbones before moving on to eyeshadow where I'm going to be starting off by taking my Smashbox 24 Hour Primer and applying this all over my eyelids. I of course had to take my ColourPop Frozen 2 Elsa palette and I'm going to be starting off by taking fire and applying this on the outer corner of my eye and softly blending this inwards and I'm also going to be applying this to my lower lash line as well. 
I'm then going to be taking Spin Drift and I'm going to be applying this to the outer corner of my eye and softly blending this inwards. We are going to be wanting to make sure that we are blending this out as we go to avoid any harsh lines. And we also want to go ahead and apply this to our lower lash line once again before taking Awakened. And we're going to be applying this to the inner corner of the eye and blending this into the center of the eyelid. And then you just want to apply this to your lower lash line too and then take a clean fluffy brush and blend out those edges. We are then going to be taking Gale and we're going to be applying this to the center of the eyelid and bringing this in towards the inner corner and then also going back into Spin Drift to help blend these colors together on the outer corner of the eye. And then just to highlight the brow one, we're going to be going into Cuddle Close and applying that right under the arch of our eyebrows. I'm then going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Black Eyeliner and I'm going to be creating a wing on my upper lash line. We want to make sure that we thin it out as we get closer to the inner corner of our eye and then you also want to bring this down to your lower lash line as well. For my lips, I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in I Heart This and going ahead and outlining my lips before moving on to lipstick where I of course had to take my ColourPop Elsa lipstick in Little Snow and I'm going to be applying that all over my lips as well. I'm then going to be taking my ColourPop Disney Designer Lip Gloss in Bobbity and applying that right over top of the lipstick before going into my ColourPop Frozen 2 Mythic Journey Lip Gloss and applying that right over top to help give it more of an iridescent sheen. I'm then going to be prepping my eyelashes by curling them before going into my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and going ahead and sweeping this through my upper and my lower eyelashes. I'm then going to be taking my Lily Lashes in the Style Miami and applying this to my upper lash line before setting my face with my One Size Beauty on Till Dawn Setting Mist and going over that with my Tula Signature Glow Face Mist to help give it a little bit more of an iridescent sheen. And that is my completed Elsa cosplay makeup and wig tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Also, if you haven't already, please consider supporting me on Patreon. You can support me for as little as a dollar a month and receive all exclusive behind the scenes sneak peeks of upcoming makeup looks before anybody else and it really does help support me and my channel. So once again, thank you guys for all of your support and I will see you in the next one. Bye.